We're in Jonesboro and we're picking up at Frito-Lays. So look, I got some classic Frito-Lays, chips, potato, and doing something I haven't done in years, having a Subway sandwich, steak with multi-grain bread, which I don't normally eat bread, but hey. And Kevin, <gasps> Kevin is enjoying a uh, turkey so yummy. We did go for an hour and a half walk. It was hot and sweaty. We saw a dead snake and we rescued a little turtle. And our pickup is in about an hour. So we've had a very lovely morning here at the Love Shack in Jonesboro. Mm -mm -mm. Post Road Consumer Bread. We're not picking up there. Don't Continue get excited. We're not getting cereal. We're getting Frito-Lay. Hey, how about this? That looks very promising. What do you think? Is that it? <laughs> I think it's full of corn or you think it's full of wheat for the post cereal? It's a competition here. Corn chips, potato chips. Arkansas Trail. Great Dane. It says underneath. That's funny. <laughs> mm. I like these yellow flowered fields, huh? Grassy areas. Very pretty. Buttercups. All right. Here we go. First time here. Very exciting. Kevin puts on his official hat, gets his official pen. must have a load securement device. I have it. I'm ready. It's all good. What are you punching in? Yard move. Frito lay. I want to know this trailer number when I do that, which is 236605. Kevin got the paperwork. Four, seven, eight, seven, nine, nine, eight. Okay. Stop and eat. What do you know? So we're gonna drop in section E and pick up in section D. Uh, I don't have a trailer number. On my information, but I got a trailer number here, 236482. Now I know what I'm looking for and roughly where I'm going, I think. I should go way back there. This guy is parked strange. And so this is over 10,000 pounds, but that's not a lot for a full trailer. And we're going all the way to California. 1800 miles and we have until Thursday. Today is Sunday. So a nice long window for delivery for the creek. And uh, I'm gonna pull the map here. This place is big. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Back there. I'm gonna drop in E, pick up in D. Uh, and the thing, I got a lot of extra instructions here too. With with these guys, you gotta break the seal, open the doors, secure the load with straps, and then reseal it. So I got a seal there with the bill. And I don't think I'll have to 
weigh this load. <laughs> It'll be just fine, no matter where the tandems are. And uh, it looks like it's already loaded. Could have showed up a little earlier, but we are 10 minutes early. Yeah, we were told to wait till 3. Yeah, and uh, obviously they got it ready before then. Okay. Woo! Wow. Ding. Who was that? Boy. Which one of my machines is yelling at me now? Okay, so the other interesting thing you were telling me is about the route that we have to take. Got another message about this load that uh, you cannot go over mountains, like not too much elevation or the bags of chips might explode <laughs> from the pressure change. So we're taking a southerly route, keeping down the elevation. Uh, down to Little Rock, down to Dallas, then El Paso, and on to Phoenix and then LA. Rather than I-40, which will take us up to Flagstaff, which is 7,000 feet. That would be yeah, lots of room. Alright, and we're in jo Jonesboro, Jonesboro Arkansas. Arkansas. We were waiting at the Loves, because we got here last night. But with the 3 o'clock appointment, we had to take the morning off. We went for a walk and had lunch. Kevin made a nice breakfast this morning in the yeah. truck. So it was a nice little break, actually. Yeah. And we're gonna have our uh, reset right in the middle of this trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, because it's such a wide deadline, like if we're picking up this late in the day, normally I would be like, well, now we're gonna drive at night kinds of crazy stuff going on but uh, I don't think we have to really push that hard so we can get back to a normal daytime schedule pretty quick and just take it easy you know It'll be a nice easy long run long days of driving yeah and we are pretty excited 1,800 and some miles yeah. so the thing that kept happening with Werner is they would keep splitting the loads. Right. And what we'd heard about Crete is that they will give you a nice long run and let you keep it. Yeah. So this is it. That's what we're gonna try out now. See if see if they really let us run all the way to LA with it. Which of course we're hoping because we like days of just driving. And now Kevin is doing a 45. 45. body workout there, spin on that wheel. Oh, wait till I, wait till I crank the landing gear. <laughs> One shot. All right. Nice, Kevin. Let's get the hang of this again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nice job. It didn't fall down or anything. <laughs> Whew. Truck, uh, trailer. Two, three, six, four, eight, two. Us? Yeah. Tandems are all the way back. Did she not have any free samples for you at the booth? No. What? Do we have to go to a shipping office? No. Oh, we, we should tell them here. about McCormick. Yeah. I, I was really hoping they were going to give us some samples. I like the little corn chips and I like the potato chips. Yeah, we're all about free stuff, huh? <laughs> uh, not free driving. No, we really like getting paid for that. <laughs> but I like free samples, yes. I 
love my free coffee that's included with your platinum membership at Love's Travel Stop. This is the mother load of Frito Lay. Can't use straps. I can't use straps. I can I can put the load bars in there, but it's not gonna stop the boxes on the top from falling. That's and what would be the point? They're not wrapped. The load bars will stop like if I put them up there and stop the top ones from falling, I guess. It's not not gonna be good. like me to get that? Is that what that meant? <laughs> It'd be a good idea for me to take pictures too after I got this one. Absolutely. How many do you get? I got two, but I can pick up more next time I'm at a terminal. So they came with the truck? Yeah, you're supposed to be issued with two straps and two bars when you get the truck. And you can replenish as you go. And often when you get an empty trailer, it's got, got straps in it somewhere, or you know, somebody left some in. You don't get load bars as often. Because now you're going to put them in and leave them in, right? Because once yeah, you put not, your seal, that's it. If it was alive on load, I'd get them back. That's a drop. That's it. Every bump you go over, the top boxes will fall against the door. If you keep going over bumps, then the next ones and the next ones and the next ones and the next ones. Until when you open this door, pretty much the whole wall will fall out. So I've gone as high as I can, brace as high as I can, so they will not fall back against the door. Maybe the top row will, but they're only like a pound for each box. And so nobody's going to get killed and nothing's going to get damaged. So... When they open this door, they might have to catch two or three boxes instead of 30. That's what I'm doing. I should have done it at the loading dock. You document it or do I have to get my camera and take pictures? Uh, I have video. <laughs> I 
just need a snapshot of what Yeah, happened. I can do take that. Pictures. I, take a picture. Take a picture? Right now, the way it is. Ta da! Frito Lay Seal. Mm, I wonder what it tastes like. Let this happen to your truck. Because number one, it's taking you across I-40, and number two, it can't. It doesn't recognize the address for the consignee. No, How funny. interesting! That's the company co-pilot. That's, the company yeah, that's the funny. Co-pilot system. Werner had it too. I'm not impressed. Okay, I think I got everything off this. I sent all my stuff to them, so this goes in here. For the next four days it goes here. I gotta slide my tandems and check that tire. But first, Yeah, it's not looking good with that tire. You can hear it. So join us in the next video to see what happens next. Are we going to get to do this 1,800 mile run? We sure hope so. Be sure to give us the thumbs up. 
Now enjoy this blooper. Put your comments and questions below. What do you think of my socks? <laughs> and if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. Have a great day. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.